Okay. Let's talk about station line, buttock line, and water line. These are coordinate systems that were derived from maritime or shipbuilding. And station line is from the forward and aft of the boat. So the top view is actually looking at a side of the ship. And then what we're seeing here. is it goes from here this being the beginning back that is station cuts so the ribs of the boat would be built along the station cuts or they are cuts of the boat as you go down along forward and aft or front to back of the ship. Those are station cuts. And I'm looking for station cuts here. So all these vertical lines are station cuts. And they're saying that every station cut is at 650 probably millimeters in this case. Or centimeters probably. And then this is a top view of it where we're looking at buttock line cuts. So right down the center is buttock line zero. And a positive buttock line is on the right side of the ship. Okay, the starboard side. And then the left side, the port side is the negative side of the ship and that's the negative y direction versus the x is the um, station cuts so vector going along the axis of x is station cuts vectors going along the y direction are buttock line cuts and from top to bottom is known as the water line cuts so these are known as lofting curves, is what they use to build the ship. And they have the orthographic views to define that and the several coordinates and identifying water lines here, along where my cursor is going, to define the contour of the ship. When they started aircraft design, they decided to use the same coordinate system. So for this coordinate system, depending on which plane you're working on, they have a water line representing 21 water line 0 on this particular plane is the bottom belly of this plane and then anything below that is in the negative water line uh, Boeing does it a little different they have an axis up front and their axis is sunk into the ground about three inches is where they start it uh, you got water line again representing top to bottom. Station forward and aft. Forward of the plane all the way to the back. These are station cuts. Left and right side of the plane is buttock lines. And wings have their own design using stations going along the wings. Okay. So these are buttock lines that cut the part in half. Buttock line zero is right down the middle. Right side of the plane is the positive Y direction. Left side of the plane is the negative side or negative Y direction. STA stands for station. So you see, do we see any station cuts here? I'm sure I'll see them somewhere. WL stands for water line. And BL stands for buttock line. Thought I saw some buttock lines here. These are your buttock line cuts going parallel to the middle section of the plane. OK. 
Okay, so just a quick reference of what station line, buttock line, and water lines are. Uh, this is another picture of the water line, or buttock line from the top view. Buttock line zero, again, is where it cuts the plane right in half. The positive numbers are to the right, and up here it says BL for buttock line. The negative numbers are to the left. Again, water line is from the bottom up. Station cuts, starting here at zero, going to the back. So this is forward to aft, STA for station cuts. Again, some references of station cuts, water lines, and buttock lines. Okay, it's where the left and right end butt up together. So usually the planes are symmetrical, okay, for the most part. Uh, another illustration of what water lines are. I think that's always the easiest one for people to grasp. Water line being from the bottom up. Um, again, because water line came from shipbuilding coordinates. So that's why they call it water line, even though you think they would call it altitude or something if we we're working on planes. But they decided to just stay with the same coordinate systems as we have for the uh, um, air, uh, marine. And even when they went into automotive and stuff, they used the same coordinates type systems, and many other companies do. So these are stations and some examples of the station cuts going from forward and aft again. And again, a definition of the buttock line. LBL is left buttock line. RBL is the right buttock line. Okay, and uh, this is a, hopefully a clear illustration of your buttock lines. Just showing positive to neg uh sorry not positive to negative left to right side so again from zero to 50 zero to 50 the other way is going to be lined up symmetrical with this side of this plane all right hopefully those illustrations help you get clarification on station line buttock line and water lines so if we were to build something in a coordinate system for example, under modules, math solution figure 2 5 has us building a part. We pull up this document here. Where would datums A and B be located for this part? Well, datum A and B is going to be the bottom line and the left vertical line. That's the first thing I need to establish. That being the case, we're going to put an axis system at station 10, left buttock line 10, and water line 15. And that axis is going to land right here on that corner. We're going to create the drawing using ANSI specs, meaning that we're going to do with the two coordinates, two precision. And then we've got to try and figure out what are the fractions for this. So 9 over 4 is really 2 and a quarter. Okay. So we are supposed to turn in a sheet with the actual lowest common denominators for all of these. All right, so to start this figure right here at station, left buttock line and water line, we would go to Katia and start a new part. Oh, 
Oh no. I don't seem to be starting a new part. Once you get a new part up, what you can do here is go right to the point command and build the point in your XYZ coordinates. X represents station. So if we take a look what my call out was, it said, oh, it's in the Word doc, isn't it? It says station is at 10, left buttock line is at 10, and water line is at 15. So going back to Katia, station is 10 inches, buttock line is 10, and if I zoom down, I can. I can see it building it and Z is waterline. The most common mistake I see though is the directions say STA. What does STA stand for again guys? Station. And WL stands for? Waterline. The tricky one is LBL. What does LBL stand for? Left buttock. Yes, since that's a left buttock line, look at my axis. I'm in the positive X, positive Y, positive Z. Positive Y is what side of the plane? It's the right buttock line. Okay, positive Y is the right buttock line or the starboard side of the boat. I want to get to the port side because it's calling off a negative buttock line. Negative buttock line means the left side of the plane or the port side of your ship. So to get on the port side of the ship, we need a negative value for your Y. So I'm working in the negative Y section. When I select OK, it generates that point, which you can hardly see, but I'll pick on it in the tree. That point is your coordinate for your axis system. When I go into Essentials, I can find Axis and just pick that point. I'll just pick it right off the tree because I can actually see it there. Select OK. That Axis system is now known as my Local Axis System or Local Part Axis. So I can call this Local Axis. And this axis is now sitting at 10, negative 10, and 15 in the X, Y, and Z, or 10 in station, negative 10, or left buttock line 10, Z 15, or water line 15. And that's where my axis is sitting right now at that location. And that's the axis you want to build on. So what I normally do is I just hide this axis. The absolute axis, whoops, did I not hit hide? I want to hide that absolute axis. If I go to, what the heck is going on? Hide that. Oh, I had it picked. That's why it was still showing up. So I hide that and I go to view, ISO view, fit all in. It's just like I'm working on the absolute axis like you've been working on the whole time. All right, and then you just simply pick that plane, go into your sketch, and then just build your part like you normally would. And that would be just building this profile right here on that and then locking that axis down to that corner. So just be something, just to oversimplify this. several holes in it okay. 
go to auto constraint I can highlight this whole thing reference this element and this element stack it change this to a zero change that to a zero and there's your part Oops, got that in the wrong direction there. Reverse that, whatever size and dimensions, you just got to edit that, okay? This sketch belongs here. And that's basically what I'm looking for, that part built on this axis system. All right, that concludes that demo.